So yeah. fact. Well, we obviously always changed a lot. So just say, just say, I'm basically. Yeah, because you've got like new series as well. So you do the past I'm, I'm adding, I'm adding, I'm adding new series. I'm going to be uploading more consistently. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love my sleep. Got him. Got him. <laughs>
Uh, and he kind of explained what the team was about. And I thought, yeah, that actually sounds pretty decent. And I, I'd spoken to Substance. Uh, you guys will know Substance. He's another member. We'd had a long conversation before anybody had even approached me about it. And I explained to him why I didn't like being in teams anymore and what I would look for in a new team. And he said that, that Team Descend was that group. So I know all three of us are really, really happy to actually have Ty as part of the team, honestly. I don't know about these guys, but I would say I probably look up to him because some of the content that the guy produces, in my opinion, is some of the best. And the fact that it's quantity and quality of the content is just insane. He uploads every single day, quality content. And he also manages to uh, fit in streams every single day or most days with like H1Z1, Call of Duty or any games that he wants to play and he's just an absolutely insane guy and personally I'm really really excited like having him on the team. So over on my channel I'm sort of trying to change things up a little bit. I mainly used to do just Call of Duty videos, tips and tricks. I'm still going to be doing them over on my channel but I want to be going down the vlog route a little bit because I've been watching a lot of vloggers lately and I want to try and get into that a little bit more so I'm going to be trying to add that into my channel a little bit. So there's also going to be a lot of things changing on my channel at the moment as well so I used to only do Call of Duty videos on my channel however personally I've not been enjoying Call of Duty uh, that much this year and as well just uh, playing other games is really really fun for me and I thought if I'm enjoying it why not upload it to my YouTube channel so I'm going to be playing a lot more games uh, as I mentioned such as Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2 and some various other ones that I'm going to be bringing and there will be like series on them games as well and if, if I can, if I've got like a, an event coming up or maybe like a fun weekend I'll also be bringing vlogs on the, to the channel as well so just literally as much varied content as I can and just, just always have fun on my channel Obviously Ty Tree couldn't be here but hopefully you can come to i60 where we hope to continue you know creating content there and maybe even have a team uh, it depends when the time comes around so our under 18 team for Call of Duty is actually doing really well at the moment. They're entering into as many tournaments as they can. They're in two leagues, the Esports Hub and Val Tourneys. Um, the roster so far, as it stands with this video, is Cryptic, Jambo and Henry. Uh, I believe they're left for one, aren't they? They are looking for one, but in regards to sort of what we're going to do with them in future reference, it's more the fact that we'll probably keep them on as a youth team until the point that they can play at 18 plus lands, kind of as like an academy based youth team. Because until there's a real reason to attend any 16 plus lands, obviously like SFCO over in France, I can't imagine them doing much more than keeping to the online status. A lot of people were confused as to why we weren't bringing like a dedicated esports team to obviously I 59, and it was a thing that like. There wasn't, obviously there's an exposure level, but there wasn't really a gain for the organisation itself. So we've obviously gone ahead with the media side and we've got a lot of the content creation team down here to obviously work on projects that we've been thinking and planning about for months on end now. But with multiplayer, sort, it was no more than 20 teams attending the event. The prize pool was a little bit slim, considering the amount of money it would have been to actually send people to Birmingham to get their hotels, flights, etc. And realistically there was no profitable cause behind sending a Call of Duty team. There might have been with a CSGO team, but obviously we've only got a North American roster. So that would have cost us a lot more. That, yeah, it, it would have really put us in more of a hole than it would have been than sending a Call of Duty team. Obviously being here now in this moment at I-59, it's pretty clear to us and everyone that's obviously attended with us that content creation was the much better choice to go ahead with. So our CSGO team at the moment, uh, when we picked them up, they were actually classified as an amateur team. Um, and so far we're actually really, really impressed by their progress. Would, yeah, would you agree with that? I, absolutely. It's, you know, they're, they're taking the AM scene sort of to the next level with their gameplay, challenging some of the top contending teams out there, obviously in the sort of ESEA main, and actually going, almost taking maps off of actual professional based teams like yeah. United, etc.
obviously they got into the semi-finals of the E-League only to fall short 16-9, I believe it was obviously yeah. in the best of one to get into the finals of the E-League, but their performance recently has been outstanding. There has been a few roster changes in and around, I would yeah, say, but, it's but with this latest roster, um, from what Tack the captain uh, recently told me, they picked up two guys from Maine. Yeah. Two guys from Maine, and they're meant to be crazy good. So we're expecting nothing but success at this stage. We're extremely and happy with this. Also, their a former member of TD, Grim, if any of you actually do remember in the early stages when we did pick up this team originally. He obviously did leave, I believe, just to some sort of personal issues or whatnot, but he's back now, uh, obviously becoming their fifth. So. There's a nice chemistry bond happening there, and obviously the two additions of the main players hopefully should just bring them to success when they next go into the qualifier. Because unfortunately, they did fall very short by, I believe it, it was a one best of three to get them into intermediate, and obviously they would have had to win another two series to get into main. But we'll get it. They're, they're, they're punching above their weight, especially with their gameplay. Um, the way they're going ahead with it, and the dedication they've got, obviously, to become a better team and a better squad is just remarkable. So we can only see success for them. Definitely, 100% agree with that. So recently we've changed our apparel supplier. Uh, we used to be originally with Raid Attire, but obviously you may have seen around, obviously they did our signature tee, obviously, but that was obviously just the t-shirt form. So we decided to push out for greater quality and we got in contact with Armour Centrum. Armour Centrum, obviously, as many of you have probably seen if you follow the Team Descent on Twitter or any sort of social media based, you'll find that we've obviously acquired a pro store under the Team Descent name, which you can find on their website, obviously. Feel free. Link is going to be in the description if you are interested in TD Apparel. It's great quality stuff, what can I say? But, um, obviously, myself and Ali here are repping the two hoodies of the four you've that got are available. The we've gray. got grey and black. Uh, navy and white, we obviously do blue and white and black and white. So they're obviously all available on the Arm Central store. Alongside, we've got sweatshirts, t shirts, and our white and blackout jersey. Uh, we're probably going to add a few more additions. So, after the great success we had from the TD signature line, we are now happy to announce that the media team are going to be getting their own line of apparel on the Armour Centrum store. So, the decision to give the media team their own t shirts on our Pro Star was, was definitely a no brainer because the work that they put in, it was very clear that they well deserved it. So because of the success we had from our signature line that Grizz is repping right now, because of our partners over at Armour Centrum who sponsor us, because of them, they are allowing us to make our own media team line. So everyone under TD, that means media for TD, will be getting their own apparel, which is absolutely insane. So thank you very much to our attention for that. And I believe the launch for those is coming very, very soon. So we have Phoenix's, um, who's going to be getting his. Uh, he's a really nice design. It's a white t-shirt. Then we, of course, have Thai Tree, uh, Grizzlies, Substances, and Hovey. So five new t-shirts coming to our store. Okay, so we have actually been working really closely with the team over at Armour Centrum to actually create some really cool designs that you guys could actually wear on a t-shirt, hoodie, um, or anything else that they actually sell on the store. Um, so we've, we're working very closely with their team to try and get the best out of everybody's logos or whatever they would like to have on their t-shirt or apparel. So personally, my apparel is gonna be my uh, logo, which is just a simple H logo, and it's gonna be like, quite small like on the on the chest and I think it will look pretty clean I like the look of my logo and uh, some of the designs we've been looking at actually look really really cool. Alright so my t-shirt is going to be a basic black and white t-shirt with my logo that I've had for two years now so it, it literally warms my heart to see my logo on a t-shirt that's made by such a great company. So if you guys follow me on Twitter I already mocked up some designs that I'm looking to get done by Armour and uh, we have experiment a little bit with some more mock-ups and stuff like that so it's really good to see like, like Chris said our logo is on some t-shirts that you guys can buy. Um, if they're not out by this video they will be very very soon and obviously if you're a fan of the content creators or anyone that's obviously involved with the send on that behalf say you Liam if you're a friend obviously go get him. Okay I fucked that up for you didn't I? Yeah I did. In regards to the future of Team Descend, we're basically just looking to expand into new and upcoming esports such as Rocket League, Halo, and possibly FIFA and Gears of War. But, you know, thing, great things are coming, 
Um, a lot of sort of behind the scenes going on, and it's, you know. You can definitely say we're trying to take it to the next level. <laughs>